image generation model i have shown you in the hugging phase that we have a text to image model as well as so how does that image generative models works in image generative models we will going to see that what are the ways to create a image generative model how does exactly works how to train the such kind of model so first way is a gan so gan is a generative adversarial network it's a deep learning model used for generating new or synthetic images that resemble the real image so in the gan there are two main components first is a generator the second one is a discriminator so generator what exactly does the generator's job is to create a new images from a random noise these images start off as a random but as a training progress the generator learns to create images that increasingly resemble the real images the generator takes in random input often a vector random numbers and applies a series of transformation to produce an image this image is passed to the discriminator and based on the discriminator has learned how does real images look like it will going to classify that generated image is a real or fake so based on that the loss function will be calculated and that feedback will be fed to the generator based on the feedback it will going to improve and it will going to generate the image and that generated images will be fed to a discriminator and it will again going to classify real or fake so that process will going to happen again and again so this is like a rat and cat competition so both is trying to compete each other so when it will going to stop so when the discriminator is no longer is able to classify that the generator model is fake and it is able to generate the good quality of image which is directly going to resemble the real image next we will see the variational encoder so variation auto encoders is a type of generative model in a machine learning that is used to create a new data samples that resemble the original data we are popular for generating image but can also be applied to other types of data such as text to text or audio so in this one we have input encoder latent code decoder and reconstructed data the encoder is responsible for compressing the input data which is an image into a lower dimensional space known as a latent space instead of encoding the data into a single point we encodes it into a distribution like a gaussian distribution which also we known as a normal distribution encoder output two things for each input the mean and the variance of a latent variable this allows the model to sample different points from the latent space which is crucial for generating a new data so why do we need a latent space the latent space is a lower dimension space that represents the compressed version of input data each point in the space corresponded to a potential version of input data the key feature of vae is that they don't just compress the data into a single point but instead into a distribution during training and generation the model samples point from this distribution to create a variation of the input data next we are having a decoder part so the purpose of decoders the decoder takes point from the latent space which is a sample from the distribution and reconstruct it back into the original data space by sampling different points from the latent space the decoder can generate new data samples that are similar to the training data but not exact copies so in that one we get a loss function also how we are doing that loss measures how well the decoder output matches the original input data the goal is to make the reconstructed data as close as possible to the original data so we have seen that encoder latent space and decoder part how does it actually work in simple words you provide a input image it will going to encode and it will going to plot the distribution into the latent space from that latent space it will going to decoder will going to generate the output so it should be not the exact copies but it should be similar to the original input data next we are having a diffusion model what exactly the diffusion model is so in a simple terms it will going to first it will going to add the noise in that image and then we will going to do the denoising so that step it will going to learn so how does exactly it works we will see so diffusion model operates through two main processes first is the forward diffusion and the next is the reverse diffusion what exactly it is let's see 
forward diffusion in the forward diffusion we will going to add the noise one by one till the complete noise is added to the images and in case of reverse diffusion we will going to reverse that we will going to do the denoise one by one and those pattern it will going to learn that how it has been generated from that noise to that images so that pattern it has been learned and in the training parameters it will be saved that weights and biases will be saved that how to create that boy image from that noise image so that's how the diffusion models work two main feature were the forward diffusion and the reverse diffusion